Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing a new product from Beauty Blender. This is their Bounce Airbrush Liquid Whip Concealer. Now this concealer retails for 26 US dollars and you can find it in 40 different shades. I grabbed two of those shades. This one here is 3.30 which is medium honey and this one over here is 3.40 which is medium peach. Now the details for the concealer are stated right on the box. Um, it is supposed to be a long wearing formula that is weightless and full coverage. It is also meant to hydrate and brighten. You can also contour and um, highlight with this, which I don't typically do, so I'm not going to be doing that today. I'm simply going to be concealing the under eye area and seeing how that wears throughout the day. Now, as far as how to use it, you're supposed to be able to use the doe foot applicator to directly target concerns, then buff out with a damp beauty blender best to applied on moisturized skin. It states it right on the box. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to blend it out with my damp beauty blender underneath the eyes. I'm also going to be testing this out like I usually test out my concealers, both with and without a color corrector underneath. Now today I'm going to be using my Live Tinted Hue Stick. This one is in the shade Perk. That's the one that I'm gonna be color correcting the right under eye area with. Um, and then on the left, I'm just gonna leave it alone and we'll see how much coverage this truly does give me. This formula is supposed to be full coverage, but that's not always the case with me, you know? All right, so before we get started, I need to clean this off. As you can see, I have a bunch of glitter all over the face. So let me take that off, which works out because the box does state, the description on the box states that this concealer is best applied on moisturized skin. So I'll wipe this off, I'll re-moisturize my face, and we'll be good to go, right? This is why I always do my eyes first. Okay, so now that I wiped that off, I can re-moisturize the face. So I'm starting off by mixing the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand with a little bit of my Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream. Taking that, this one, the Glow Wand, is in the shade Dream. So just applying that on the face, I have been obsessed. I am so in love with that Glow Wand. Mixing it with my moisturizer or mixing it with my foundations my skin looks beautiful. I love the way that this stuff makes my skin look. It gives you like this beautiful, subtle glow without making you look or feel oily. All right, so face is done. Now it's time for the under eye area. And I've been using this Glam Glow Bright Eyes Illuminating Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. I use it day and night. I really, really like this stuff. I really love how it wears underneath makeup and how lightweight it is. All right, so now it is time for the color correcting underneath my right side. So I'm just gonna grab some of this. And what I've been doing is I've just been placing it directly onto the under eye area and then I blend it out with my finger. I still really like my Becca under eye brightening corrector. Um, I wear them both, I just kind of alternate between the two. All right, so now it's time for foundation. I'm using my Bounce Liquid Whip Foundation. This one is in the shade 3.35. All right, so foundation is on. Now it is time for concealer. Like I said, I grabbed two different shades. This one is 3.4, this one right here. And this one is 3.3. Let me put this down. I wasn't really sure which one to go with for the under eye area. Because as you can see, this one is more golden than this one. This one's a little bit more on the peach side, the 3.4. 3.3 is a little bit more like golden yellow. So, mm, you know what? I'm going to go with 3.4. Then if I find it to be a little bit too deep, I can always mix in a little bit of 3.3. But I'm going to start off with 3.4. I like, I like, you all know, I really like peach undertones underneath my eye area because it certainly helps lessen the darkness for sure. It certainly helps cancel it out. So I'm going to take 3.4. 
And I watched the how-to video that they have on their website and what they literally do is just like shoop, and swoop. So they just do one long swoop here and one long swoop here for the under eye area. I love the fact that this is flat on one side. Can you see that? It's flat on one side, but it looks like a beauty blender. It's cute. I like that. So you see, it looks like a little mini beauty blender. I like that. Okay. So we're just going to take this and swoop it across and then take the other side and swoop it. So swoop and swoop. Okay. That should provide me with plenty of coverage. That's quite a bit, you know, it's quite a bit of concealer. All right. And what I usually do is blend my concealers out with my deluxe crease brush, but they do recommend that you blend it out with a beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to start off on the right side. Okay, so I'm glad I went with 3.4 um, because this is really bright. I mean, it, it is supposed to brighten, right? That's one of the things that it does claim to do is to brighten. And this is certainly doing that over on this side. All right, now let's go ahead and blend this side out and see how much coverage this gives us without a corrector underneath. All right, so there it is. I think both sides look pretty similar as far as coverage. Definitely think they're similar in coverage. Um, now I'm gonna take the 3.3 and I usually don't highlight along the face, but I think I am gonna highlight here just along the center of my face. So I'm gonna take this one since it's the lighter one of the two that I have and I'm going to just run it here along the bridge here a little bit on the forehead and then here on the chin, just a little bit. I usually wouldn't, but you know what? I have them, why not? Let's try it out. All right, so is it settling into my fine lines? Yes, yes it is. Do you see it over here? So you can see it a little bit right here and a little bit over here. So I'm going to set this very, very lightly though. And I'm gonna take my RCMA no color powder and that's what I'm gonna to use to set the under eye area, but very little. I'm not gonna go heavy on setting this. All right. All right, so both under eye areas are set. You can tell I'm getting more coverage over here. You can definitely see it right away. Um, here, you can see the darkness peeking through right here. It's very obvious. Over here, it's a lot, it's a lot more concealed. So I will certainly need a corrector in the future with this concealer, if it works out. We'll see how it wears, you know? Sometimes, even though they look really nice and they conceal in the morning, by midday or by the end of the day, it just looks completely different. So we'll see how it wears, but if it wears well, if it wears like it's wearing right now, I will be using this with a corrector going forward if I'm looking for full coverage. As far as how it looks, it looks great. It looks really nice underneath the eyes. It doesn't look too dry. It looks pretty hydrated. However, just getting more coverage over here. That's the only thing. Aside from that, they look similar. So now I'll zoom you all in so that you can get a better look at the under eye area after initial application. All right, so this is the under eye area. Like I said, they look the same as far as how they're wearing. As far as coverage, I feel like I'm getting more over here. All right, so I'm gonna jump off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back. All right, so now I am back, makeup is done. Nothing's really changed underneath the eyes. The only thing is, like I mentioned earlier, I'm getting a little better coverage over here on the right side, but we'll see how it wears. It is currently at 10 at 52 in the morning. I do plan on wearing this concealer the entire day. And of course I am going to be coming back halfway through the day in order to show you all some close-ups and to see how the concealer is wearing up to that point. So I will see you all back here in a few hours for my midday check-in. Okay, so I am back for my midday check-in. It is currently 3.03. .03. So I've had this concealer on now for a good four hours. Now, 
I just looked at myself. Mm. Certainly wearing better underneath the right side. But you'll see. You'll see. It's It's been a while. It's been a while since I was this like pretty disappointed midday um, in a concealer. But it's just not wearing well at all. All. Um, first, before I move forward and say anything else, let me zoom you all in so that you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here it is. It looks pretty dry. And over here on the um, left side, it's starting to kind of like separate and it continued to settle in between my fine lines. And not only is it still settling, but it's separated um, in between my fine lines as well. So not so much over here. I still do see some separating and some settling, but not as um, not like their left side at all. All right, so there you have it. That is the under eye situation of four hours in. Definitely a lot more wearable on this right side with the hue stick. For whatever reason, the hue stick is keeping it from looking like this over here, which is just really dry, separated, settled, not, not a good time. Not a good time underneath this left eye. Over here, like I said, it looks a little bit more wearable. Um, not ideal, but not horrible you know not so so bad not as bad as this side over here uh i'm kind of tempted to try to like blend this out a little bit just so that it doesn't look so bad <laughs> for the rest of the day um i'm trying to think here what tool can i use hmm you know this the beauty blender that i used this morning it still has a little bit a little bit of um dampness to it there's still a little bit of moisture in it so i'm gonna Hopefully this, hopefully this won't ruin the under eye completely, but I'm going to try to smooth it out by just lightly blending it back and forth. So that helped. It doesn't look as separated and settled anymore. Um, still looks a little bit dry. And obviously the coverage is just lacking, but at least it doesn't look like I've had it on for like two full days. I'm exaggerating. At least it doesn't look like I've had it on for a really, really long time. So that did help, but I lost a little bit more coverage. Um, but at least, you know, it'll look okay for the remainder of the day. So yeah, that's the situation four hours in. I'll wear it for another four hours and we'll see, we'll see where we're at by the end of the day. So I will see you all back here at the end of my day so that I can give you my final thoughts on this new Beauty Blender concealer. All right, so I am back from my final check-in. It is currently 6.50. So I've had this concealer on now for a solid, I believe a solid eight hours, um, somewhere around there. Uh, now, before I give you my thoughts on this concealer, I'm going to zoom you all in one last time so that you can get a better look at the under eye area after eight hours of wear. All right, so here is the under eye area after about eight hours. I'm sure you've probably guessed it, not my favorite concealer, not my favorite concealer at all. Um, it, it, it looks really worn and um, it looks super dry. I've lost coverage um, on both sides, not just the left side, but also on the right side. And it's just, yeah, I cannot wait to wash this off. All right, so there you have it. That is the under eye area after a full day. I don't like it. I don't like this concealer. It did not work out for me personally. Um, as far as coverage at the beginning of the day, especially once I applied it, like right after I applied it, it looked wonderful. It looked hydrated. Everything looked nice and smooth. It is very lightweight, even though I've had it the entire day and it doesn't look, it doesn't look nice underneath the eyes whatsoever. It is very lightweight. I don't feel it heavy. I don't feel like a ton of product underneath my eyes. I, I it doesn't feel like much underneath the eyes. But once I look at it, 
it doesn't look hydrated. Um, it definitely settled in between fine lines. It definitely separated after wearing it for a while. Right now I've lost coverage not only over here, but I've also lost coverage over here on the side that was doing really well at the beginning of the day or like the first half of the day. Now it's just, mm, it doesn't look so good anymore. Um, I had to set that. I know it looks dry and it could be because I set it, but I had to set it because it was settling into fine lines a lot a lot a lot um so yeah as far as its claims let's see what are the claims again long wearing i would say not not for me no weightless yes it certainly is weightless doesn't feel like much under the eyes full coverage once you first apply it yes after about a few hours like four or five six hours not so much um and brightens and hydrates brightens yes hydrates i mean I don't know if it really does or not because I, it doesn't feel dry underneath the eyes so I can't say that you know it, it dries out your skin but it certainly looks dry so looks dry to me separated didn't wear well and I know I will I be reaching for this again um probably not I mean I might test it out in the future like maybe a couple more times just to make sure that I don't like it if anything changes I will keep you all updated either here through a future video or on Instagram so if you haven't followed me on Instagram make sure that you do that's usually where I will keep you all posted if I like retest products um, like I've been retesting the glow wand under my eyes and I've, tr I've tried to keep you all updated as far as how I've been testing it out underneath the eyes. So if you haven't followed me, make sure that you do. And yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. As of right now, though, after trying it for an entire day, the way that I did, which is two different ways by itself and with a color corrector underneath, it's a no from me. It is a no from me. So yeah. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And like I said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you all. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.